In this video, I will show you how to lock a new focus Vortex 2 laser to a rubidium absorption line. For this, you will need a function generator, an oscilloscope, an LB1005 lockbox, a Vortex 2 laser, a rubidium gas cell, and a detector. We also have a beam splitter and filters to attenuate the power. In our setup, the sample beam path will start with the Vortex 2, then hit a beam splitter with the majority of the beam continuing on to your experiment, and the rest first hitting a filter to attenuate the power, the rubidium gas cell, and then the detector. First, take the sink out of your function generator and plug it into the sink in of your oscilloscope. Next, take the output of your function generator and plug it into the sweep in of the lockbox. Next, the output of your detector will go to channel A of the lockbox. Then, Take the error monitor of your lockbox and plug it into channel 1 of your oscilloscope. Last, you will split the output of the lockbox with one channel going to channel 2 of the oscilloscope and the other going to the frequency modulation input of your Vortex 2 controller. Now we will set up our system to find the rubidium absorption line. Set your function generator to a triangle wave at 18 hertz with an amplitude of about 1 volt. Your piezo percentage should be at 0%. Now turn the span knob until you see your triangle wave on the oscilloscope. Slowly raise the piezo percentage until you can see the rubidium absorption line on the center of the oscilloscope. You want the absorption line to be in the center of your sweep. Next, we want to adjust the zero position of channel 1. First, raise the indicator so that channel 1, 0 is in the middle of the screen, and then adjust your input offset up or down until the sharpest dip of your absorption crosses that zero line. Next, you will set the input offset so that the zero line of your oscilloscope is in the middle of the oscilloscope screen. First, raise or lower your signal so that the zero is in the middle of the screen, and then raise or lower your input offset so that just the sharpest absorption dip crosses that zero line. Next, zoom in a little on your signal with the seconds per division on your oscilloscope. Turn the lockbox to the LFGL position. You can use the center knob to recenter the signal on your screen. Slowly turn the gain up from zero. The signal will become distorted. One edge of the absorption will become steeper, while the other will become more flat. As you raise the gain, you may need to recenter 
using the center knob. The next step will be to slowly lower your span knob while recentering with the center knob until the absorption line covers the entire screen. You will turn your span completely off. The signal on the screen can be seen as one point along your absorption curve. As you turn the centering knob, you're moving back and forth along that curve. You're going to want to move until you find where that line crosses zero. When you're near zero, turn the switch to lock on position. The signal will jump slightly. Here you will turn the gain up until you see a resonance. When you do, back it off a small amount and you will be locked. To confirm the lock, you can turn the span button on a small amount and you should not see the triangle wave come back.